Oi guys, it's Dan here today bringing another video. So today we're going to look at question 47 of our series of 100 integrals. I hope you are ready. I've got a no lovely question for you lot today. So first things first, get your pen and get your calculator. Let's get down to business. Right, so this one can look kind of, you know, overwhelming, but it's actually very simple to solve. And I'm going to show you lot how to solve it. So looking at this, you know you're dealing with a trig integral. You got a, you know, you got trig functions, and you got a trig function to a power of, you know, to a power of two, you know. So you know you're dealing with a trig integral. So you, this is not a very standard one, in you know, in the terms that you, it's not, you know, you can't really use these cases right away. You know, you guys are gonna have to simplify it in a format and then apply a u sub. So that's the way we're gonna be approaching this problem we're going to use trig identities to write it to remove that fraction we do not we do not want to see that fraction we want to remove it and we want to have you know a simple numerator no denominator so we don't want a fraction essentially and we're going to simplify it in a way that we don't have that and then we're going to apply a simple u sub so that's the the logic you you lot are going to need to have when solving for this problem so we're going to do it right away we know that cotan right if you are familiar, cotan of x can be rewritten as the following. It could be rewritten as cos of x divided by sine of x. Very important. And we know that secant squared of x, right? 1 over secant squared of x could be written, rewritten as sine squared of x. And you know, you guys are going to see something very lovely play out in front of your eyes. So check this out. So if I substitute, knowing these trig identities, I su sub them into this formula, this integrand, basically, right? You guys are going to notice that a lot of things cancel out, basically, because they're equivalent statements. So a lot of things cancel out. And it's just going to make it a lot easier to solve. So these are equivalent statements. These, this is equivalent to this. So we can cancel out the sine part of here and the squared part of here, and leaving us with just the integral of cos of x sine of x dx. And you guessed it. You lot just need to apply a simple u sub, right? Because now we have a case one. We, this looks like a case one. Not all powers are even. In this case, not all powers are even. You know, we got power of one and power of one. So therefore, direct u sub using a trig function. So what, what would you use as your u sub? Well, that's going to be very easy. You're going to take the u sub as sine, right? So u is equal to sine of x. So here you're going to do a u sub. Very important. And you do u variable when you take the derivative of sine, it's going to give you cos of x dx. Divide cos on both sides. And we're going to substitute dx into the formula. So we're going to do that right over here for you lot. So we got the integral cos x sine is going to be equal to u. And dx in this case is going to be du divided by cos of x cos of x is going to cancel out and what you lot are going to be left with is u du you take the integral of that it's just a simple power rule from integral calculus and you guys are going to end up with u squared divided by 2 you substitute back in your u variable which in this case is your sine variable it's just going to be equal to sine x squared divided by 2 and don't forget your cheeky plus c at the end. And there you have it. This is the answer to this integral. I hope you all enjoyed it. So this is a very simple integral. It could kind of look misleading at first. But once you start using trig identities, play around with the integral, simplify it using the trig identity, and then bang, apply a u substitution. And there you go. And there you have it, lads. That's how you solve these problems. Simplify them using trig identities and then slap them with a u sub. And then that's where you're going to obtain the right answer to this problem. So most of these problems are like that with trig integrals. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Don't go missing. See ya. Bye.